Metro Academic and Classical High School, the gem of the SLPS district. Inside these walls, there are so many great things to find. From the amazing students that attend this school, the great faculty, and the family-oriented environment, I think it's safe to say that Metro is a great place to be. But what about from the outside looking in? Do other students outside of Metro look at it the same way? Why are the stereotypes that are put on Metro students so far from the truth? This documentary is going to try to uncover the stereotypes that are associated with Metro and the social pressures that those stereotypes have on Metro students. What was your impression of Metro when you went there? I thought Metro was this so carefree school because when I walked in, I saw kids on the steps. I saw kids in the gym. It was just kids everywhere, and I was like, well, isn't there like a specific place I need to be right now? I was like, no, just get to class on time. It's like, okay. And I honestly think it is the best school ever. And when I got there, I thought it was like really fun and interesting and awesome. Only thing is like, it'll be fun. It's just that you have to do the work. You can't just play the whole time. And that's where I messed up. I was having too much fun and I got caught up and I forgot to do the work, which is why I'm not there now. And I wish I could go back because it's like the best place on the planet to be. What did Gateway Kids think of you when you first got there? Gateway Kids thought I was a nerd and thought I was stuck up and thought I was like, oh, she thinks she's better than us because she came from Metro. And explaining why I got kicked out was like, they were so confused, like, why don't you guys have Ds? I don't know. Well, because if you're going to get a D, you might as well get an F. Because you earned a D, you earned an F. And, um... They honestly think Metro kids are like, stay to themselves and they're lame and they don't know how to party and people will stop like sleeping on us because Metro kids know how to party. But we're smart too, so it's like best of both worlds. Yeah. People that don't go to Metro perceive Metro in the way that they do. Well, because the way everybody else talks about Metro, it's like what they hear is like Metro is so good and all of the students are so smart and score past proficient on everything. And so people look at it as, oh, they're borderline brilliant at that school. And they really are. Those kids are talented and they're smart. Not to say that kids at other St. Louis public schools aren't. It's just that Panthers are different. Panthers are special. Um, I think it kind of causes kids to, like, want to go out more because people, you know, stereotype us and say, oh, you guys don't party, you guys don't go out, y'all are just shoved in books 24-7, so it's like, no, we're not, and then we go out and we want to show people that, hey, we are fun, we do have a good time, but then that kind of, kind of, you know, throws us off with our grades and, if you get thrown off with your grades, then that's all bad. And you're like, oh, well, now I have to balance my social life and my personal life. And it's just really hard trying to find a happy medium between everything. And the hats off to all the kids who have done it. It is evident that there is a certain amount of pressure put on Metro students from stereotypes that are imposed on them by students that don't even attend the school. Senior Natalie Bellany of Metro sums up how the pressures have affected her and her classmates throughout the years she has attended Metro. What did you think about Metro before you got here? Okay, before I got here, I heard all this stuff about how Metro is like super hard, so I was scared that everything was going to be really strict and it was going to be really difficult and teachers weren't going to be mean and stuff, but um, when I got here, I realized that it's not and everybody's willing to help and it's just a good school overall. Like? Metro is really like it most people here are really smart but you know we're just like normal kids and we like play sports and stuff and we do fun things and so we're just like the average school. We're just really smart and we don't do anything else except homework and we do a lot of homework but we still like to party and we still like to go out with our friends and 
without that stuff, we kind of go crazy. So, And I guess a lot of schools think that we're not good at sports because we're all just like nerds, but that's definitely not true. We have a lot of athletes, and yeah, we like to have fun. What are some of the pressures? Um, well, since, you know, people think we're just like, super smart and that's all we do we have to kind of prove that we are fun so we have to convince people to come to our homecomings and throw like super good parties <laughs> and um yeah we our sports teams are really good so we prove ourselves there so you see the stereotypes placed on metro students have a certain level of impact on their social lives Although most of the stereotypes are clearly untrue, there is a certain need to prove their invalidity. Abraham Lincoln said it best, character is like a tree and reputation like a shadow. The shadow is what we think we see, the tree is the real thing.